we talk about basically chronic disease as being not being well. But what's the first chronic disease that usually ap appears? It turns out the earliest chronic disease is usually type 2 diabetes. Now, if you, once you have diabetes, uh, it's, that's not the end of the game. Basically, it's only the beginning. Because once you have diabetes, you're now four times more likely to get heart disease. You're twice as likely to get Alzheimer's and a wide variety of other diseases. How can this be? Because diabetes is simply a consequence of severe insulin resistance. And all those other diseases are also. Because insulin resistance is really a catch-all term for your metabolism not working well. And so when your metabolism doesn't work very well in one organ, it means the other organs it's not working well either. So it's just a matter of time of which one will appear first. Usually most people develop type 2 diabetes in their 50s. Heart disease in their 60s, Alzheimer's in their 70s. But they are all coming from a common soil, increased insulin resistance. If you can reduce insulin resistance, if you could eliminate insulin resistance, you've cut the Gordian knot of those chronic disease states and virtually many others. But this is basically a, a lifelong uh, you know, job on your part because insulin resistance is not caused by a microbe, it's not caused by some infection, it's caused by your diet. And so you want to develop a diet based on science that basically eliminates insulin resistance.